Um, Mom, the wedding reception is at the Central Hotel, right? It seems like no one has arrived yet. And when I asked the hotel staff, they said there is no wedding scheduled today. Mom, are you referring to me by any chance? Oh, sorry for suddenly calling you mom, but dad married you and you're officially my stepmom now. I'm thinking of calling you mom from now on. Ew, please don't. Excuse me? Being called mom by a stranger feels weird. And seriously, you weren't even invited to the wedding. It's hilarious that you're so eager to come though. <laughs> what do you mean a stranger? We've just officially become a family, right? Stop that. Calling us a family? I feel sick. <laughs> but you're married to my dad now, so that makes you my stepmom, right? And maybe it was a bit sudden for me to call you mom, but denying that we're a family is a bit much. Oh shush. Those titles don't matter at all. To me, you're just a stranger. That's why I lied about the location to you. <laughs> what? While you were in the bathroom, the whole family moved to the real venue. You're at the Central Hotel, right? Yeah. You said the reception will be here. You got tricked. How silly. <laughs> tricked? Why would you do that? I'm heading there now, so can you tell me the location? No way, I'm telling you. <laughs> but it's weird for a daughter not to show up at the wedding. I hope someone notices and lets me know. No one's going to care if you're here or not. <laughs> I told your dad and all the relatives that you had something else to do. Jeez, going that far? Plus, you're not part of our family. <laughs> Excuse me? What do you mean by that? I don't have a blood relation with you, but I'm my dad's daughter by blood. Not being related by blood makes us strangers. Since you're not a family, get out of our house. What? We're going on our honeymoon tonight, so you better be gone before we come back. Are you kicking me out of the house? Well, obviously. <laughs> the house where you used to live with your dad, we've decided to use it just for me and him. You, who have no blood relation, gotta go. <laughs> You've suddenly become a different person. I thought things were going to be okay for us. For the past six months, I've been incredibly patient. Your dad said he wouldn't remarry unless you agreed. I was desperate to get on your good side. But we already tied the knot and finished the ceremony. Now, you're a nuisance. Get it? <laughs> uh, that's how it was. So were you just acting all this time? You're just a stranger now. No need for me to bother anymore. <laughs> You're gloating, but do you really think it's okay to kick me out like this? Of course. It's decided by me. That house is mine now. Once I married your dad and became his wife, I have a say in who lives there. <laughs> what do you think dad will say? Did you discuss it with him? It's fine. He's my husband now. He won't go against me. I'll have him wrapped around my finger. Yeah, well, he might just be like that. He's an optimist who avoids trouble, you know. Oh, you get it. <laughs> That's why he won't divorce me. You've graduated high school, so learn to be independent. Pay through your college yourself. I've been quite independent, you know. Oh, whatever. You're just blowing smoke. <laughs> In reality, you're leeching off your dad, you parasite. Stop relying on him forever. His money is mine now. I have priority over you. You've been living off him and getting spoiled being just the two of you. But it's a big mistake to think you can have it all to yourself. Learn the harshness of the real world from now on. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think it's you who's a parasite. I've never thought about leeching off him or making his money mine. You're the one who's immature and doesn't seem to understand the harshness of the world. See, that's what I mean by getting carried away. You're such a brat, going against someone older? You just want to hog this mansion all to yourself, don't you? Could be. <laughs> At least, things are going to be a lot more fun around here once you're gone. I get it now. That was your goal, huh? Of course. <laughs> I've got the mansion now, so you're out of here. No longer needed. I've taken care of you until now. Be grateful. <laughs> Only been half a year. I was cooking for you all this while. 
well, I'm hiring a new helper, so it's all good. <laughs> I want this fancy house to be my castle without you around. Your dad's usually out working, so having a huge place all to myself is awesome, you know. I'll toss your stuff as soon as we're back from the honeymoon. If you don't want that, you better leave tonight. <laughs> wow, you're really going that far. So, you're serious about kicking me out. Did you check with dad about this? Post-approval would do. Just get out, okay? If you're gone, he'll have no choice but to accept. You're 18, right? An adult stepchild is nothing but a nuisance. Be independent already. Parasite, out! I think I'm more independent than you think, you know. I wonder which one of us the real parasite is. It's obviously you. Shut up, you useless trash that can only be a nuisance. I didn't expect you to go that far. You were thinking of me as trash or a nuisance all this time we were living together. Hell yeah. Even though it was to secure my marriage with your dad, being with you was seriously irritating. Now that I'm the official wife, I'm finally liberated from stress and feel amazing. <laughs> oh, I see. I was excited when dad decided to marry you. I thought we could become closer as a family. That's why I wanted to call you mom once it became official. I feel stupid for thinking such a frivolous thing. See? You're an idiot. <laughs> A daughter who isn't blood-related is just a plain nuisance. It's common sense, but you just don't get it. Instead, you're dreaming away all carefree. <laughs> That's seriously nuts. <laughs> okay, understood. Then disappear right away. An unrelated stranger, get out. The house is only for us family members now. <laughs> don't show your face around here again. Got it. I'm done. I'll leave tonight as you wish. I won't attend the reception, but head home and sort out my stuff. Should have done that from the start. <laughs> ah, I'm feeling fantastic, finally. Now we can cut down on living expenses. But let me just say one last thing. Go ahead. Don't come crying to me. What? Are you kidding me? That's my line, you know. Bye-bye, Nuisance. Your CEO dad's mine now. Remember that you are a stranger to us. <laughs> sure. Thanks for everything. Rachel, I want to ask you something, sweetheart. Yeah? Who's this? It's me, Holly. Your mom. My mom passed away, and her name was a Holly. You got the wrong person. I married your dad ten years ago. I'm your stepmom, sweetie. Uh, so basically you're a stranger. Could you not get all familiar and call me sweetie? Then, um, Rachel? Anyway, I need to ask you something. Mm-hmm. What is it? Don't play dumb. What's going on? You've been in the news. Oh yeah, it aired today, didn't it? Totally slipped my mind. Seriously, what's going on? If you saw the news, you already know, right? Exactly what you saw, but it's none of your business. Not only that, your dad says something odd to me. Our monthly expenses have been falling short. He's been dipping into savings, but finally they ran out. We can't cover this month's expenses. When I asked why, he said it was because I kicked you out. What does he mean? You're asking this now? I mean, if you put two and two together, you'd probably figure it out already. Just tell me. In short, I've been supporting both of you for the past ten years. What? You know his personality, right? He took over the company from my grandfather, but he lacks the skills. He's overly optimistic and thinks everything will fall into place on its own, but it doesn't. Really? But he's the CEO! Even so, if run by someone like that, the business won't grow at all. It hasn't been performing well, and employees have been leaving in droves. <laughs> it's a miracle it lasted this long since then. I gave it three years. OMG! I had no idea! More importantly, you started a company when you were in university, right? You're the CEO of a multi-million dollar business now. Not only that, you were apparently famous even in high school. You inherited your mom's intelligence and were a genius high schooler who won math olympiads and prestigious awards, right? Sure. You never mentioned it. Why didn't you tell me? There was no need. And besides, you never asked, did you? We were just friendly on the surface. Neither of us delved into deep conversations. 
And you were making a ton of money even back then. Isn't it all thanks to your dad? Not at all. After mom passed away, I made a point to study and thrive on my own. He was pretty hopeless, so I supported him. What? You supported him? Using the money I made from my part-time job, I invested in Forex and made big profits. I even used it up to help his company. But when the backing disappeared, and it was just him and you, it's no wonder you couldn't sustain yourselves. <laughs> you misunderstood thinking he was a wealthy CEO and squandered money like water. As for him, he's full of pride. He couldn't come clean about not making his own living and not only that, about his debt. Debt? Yup. He's just living off appearances and is drowning in debt. He can barely use his salary freely. He acted all generous in front of you and spent borrowed money lavishly. And now, here you are. There's nothing I can do about it. OMG! He silenced me from telling you that I was providing for the family. I planned to tell the truth once you guys were officially married and we bonded as a family. But it's been 10 years since I was kicked out. It's a good opportunity to completely cut ties now. What do you mean? Remember what you said at your wedding? A non-blood-related daughter is just a nuisance. A nuisance should just pack up and leave. I did exactly as you said. And for the past 10 years, I've invested my own money into building my success through entrepreneurship. I plan on continuing this lifestyle. So even if you come to me crying for help now, it's useless, you know. Oh, don't say that. You're making millions, right? Then, our living expenses are just peanuts for you. You can at least share a bit with your parents, you know. I don't have parents. Come on, you know better. Even if you refuse to recognize your stepmom, your real dad's in trouble. I consider my only real parent to be my deceased mother. My dad had this attitude as if it was my responsibility to support the company and family. He was way too optimistic, and his sense of money and lifestyle were completely in shambles. When I was kicked out by you, he didn't stand up for me at all. He's not someone I can respect as a parent or even as a human being, so I won't be providing any financial support to him in the future. You have to figure out your own livelihood. Fine, but then at least help us with the house repairs. Why? It's your family home. You know, it was inherited from your grandpa and it's falling apart. We've been told it's becoming dangerous to live in without repairs. It's also the house where you spent your childhood, so you must have some feelings, don't you? So cough up the money. That too, remember what you told me? What? You said that house was already yours. Whether that's objectively correct or not, I have no attachment to it anymore. Well, if I may offer a piece of advice, it'd be better to sell it before it becomes inhabitable. Considering it's an old house, repairs might cost a fortune. What? Sell it? What are you saying? Where would we live then? That's no longer my concern. I'm just a stranger to you, you know. <laughs> Even if you get a part-time job, all your earnings will go into just paying for utilities and maintenance for that house. Are you serious? Wait, I won't get a part-time job. I want to be a full-time homemaker and then enjoy my life. Oh, I see. Then sort it out with my moronic dad. I won't offer any assistance. After all, it was you who kicked me out, so there. Okay, fine. I'll apologize for what happened ten years ago. That's better, right? So come back. Excuse me? We'll make up, okay? Come back here and let's live together. What? Are you crazy? <laughs> That's a joke, right? <laughs> joke? What do you mean? I'm dead serious, you know. Well, let me be serious too, then. There's no way I'm coming back and living with you guys. Why not? You told me to get lost like I was some total stranger. You even demanded I leave on the same day. It was incredibly tough, you know. Sure, I was making money through forex trading, but as an 18-year-old college student without any parental support, it was extremely challenging. I pushed myself hard, thinking if it meant cutting ties for good. For 10 years, you never reached out once. But now you found out I was successful in my job, and you come crawling back, demanding I pay for living expenses and house maintenance. <laughs> it's nothing but a joke. Ha! <laughs> I have no intention of returning ever again. Hold on, you're being unreasonable. We're family, right? I apologize for the way I spoke to you. Can't we just move on? Nope, we can't. <laughs>
Your apology doesn't change what you did. I don't consider you family anymore. And I want to sever ties with Dad, too. If you're Dad, don't say that. We're your parents, after all. If we keep going like this, we'll drown. Please help us. Jeez, don't try to play the family card now. It's too late for a stepmother who despaired her stepchild to change the color. Seeking help now is pointless, you know. Come on, let's start over and be a true family this time. We were getting along fine, weren't we? Only on the surface. Have you finally realized that you've been strangling yourself? From now on, I wish you guys the best of luck in your impoverished lives. I'm going to keep growing and thriving. Enjoy watching me succeed on TV while you stew in regret. <laughs> Holly and Dad kept asking for financial support. I ended up blocking them. Then, a few weeks later, news broke that he embezzled money from his company. <laughs> his savings were gone, and he couldn't get any more loans, so he ended up dipping into the company's funds. He was forced to step down as the CEO, and the COO took over. Unfortunately, due to poor business conditions, the company went bankrupt. Dad now not only carries personal debt, but also the company's debts. The house he inherited from his dad was sold off, and Holly and he moved into a rundown apartment. Holly had no choice but to take up a job she so despised. They are now stuck in extreme poverty and a debt nightmare. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.